right, we're here with Jalen Graham, future NBA All Star. <laughs> I mean, I, I I think he could be honestly. Oh, honestly. But <laughs> um, he plays for the Arkansas Razorbacks, and we're just gonna interview him. So, um, just quick question: Who in your family really inspired you to do this? Um, my mom um, just really inspired me to play sports, get out here, and get active. You know, she uh, encouraged me to play basketball more than football, just because. Uh, I was getting taller, not wider, and she uh, didn't want me to get hurt, so. But my mom really was the main reason uh, why I chose basketball. Um, All right, um, so whenever you were at Arizona State and just hearing about like Arkansas and the Elite Eight, whenever you heard that, what was your first thought? Uh, just something I want to be a part of, just the culture, just everything about, you know, Arkansas, and, the, and then winning and being in that environment, just, Playing in those games would be just amazing, you know, something that I dreamed about playing in. So, just um, uh, one of the main reasons why I chose to come in. Um, whenever you think about the NBA, what team would you be the, like, the most willing to play for? The Lakers. That's I mean, <laughs> everybody says it, but, you know, LA, the Lakers, you know, just the franchise itself is uh, it's beautiful. Um, is there any, like, basketball player, like, that, like, inspired you growing up? Uh, yeah, uh, Anthony Davis, uh, just a big key, just how, how he played, how he blocked shots. I used to block a lot of shots back in my uh, high school days, uh, but just how he was playing, the way he would score the ball was just uh, something that you know, really drew me to him. Okay. Um, so um, they normally say like all your tattoos have meaning, right? Mm -hmm. um, what is your tattoo that means the most to you? Probably the one that means the most is to my aunt. She passed away of uh, cancer. That's probably the, the main one that means a lot to me. You know, uh, got the, that was one of my, actually it was my second tattoo that I got. So, um, you know, ever since then, I dedicated this whole arm to meaningful stuff for me and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, so what like SEC team like, like pumps, like gives you the most moment, like I want to beat them, like, I want to beat them. Like, for any team in general. Yeah, yeah, any team in general. Um, back in my ASU days, it was U of A, um, University of Arizona, and um, then yeah. the rival. The rival, it's always a big one. And I guess right now, uh, to be honest, is Auburn. You know, I always look ahead in my next game. Uh, yeah. I always wanna, always wanna beat somebody. That's the next opponent. That's a good mentality. Yeah. yeah. Um, thinking about Selection Sunday coming up, who do, you, who do you expect to play? Well, if we get, if we get in, who do you expect to play? Can't just be like, uh, I don't know, but I heard uh, you know ASU you know might might do enough to, to get in there, and uh, that'd be a, a really fun matchup. You know, yeah, I would love to play my old team and, uh, um, and kill them. <laughs> <laughs> um, how many celebrities have you met that and your favorite one that you've actually met? Uh, I met a lot of celebrities. I met like Katie, Devin Booker, Giannis, James Harden. Because he went to ASU. Yeah. All them play. A lot of people come to, to Arizona to play uh, basketball oh. in the summer. So probably my favorite one was probably basketball wise James Harden, just because just he helps out with it. he helped out with like giving us gear and stuff like that. He was a great person. He, yeah. he always loved to go out. So. Um. And I think maybe just two more questions here. Okay. Um. Who do you? So whenever you were thinking about. Like in high school, even before, like other than ASU, what teams were you really thinking about? So actually, uh, Coach Musk, when he was at Nevada, I was thinking about going to Nevada. Um, and then the second school that was besides ASU was going to be Santa Clara, which is a small school in California. It was super nice, beautiful weather, and uh, I thought it was a good fit. But I actually committed there, and then ended up decommitting. De uh, so, well, yeah. So when, when you first arrived in Arkansas, what was your kind of first thought? Uh, just how small town vibe. It was just a different vibe from Arizona. I knew it right away. Um, and then, uh, nah, it, it was it was nice in the summer. I was like, the winters now. Hold on now, but um, just a small town vibe. And then just met the people around here. Just great people. You know, the small town vibe because we're a small town, you know, people that you don't know, really care about, you know, you, you really get to know you as a person, so. And sorry, I have one more, sorry. Um, yeah. Whenever you first entered, like, the Hogs Arena and you saw all the fans, what did you think of the atmosphere? 
Oh man, crazy. I was like, wow, I've never been a part of anything like it. Um, even just going into the arena by itself when uh, no one's there, just how big it is, and you can just tell that it gets packed. Um, so just it was, it was just so much fun. My first time being in there, just like the energy I had, how bouncy I felt, just it was just so much fun. Well, thank you so much. So thank much. you, guys. It's been an honor. Jalen Graham. And uh, just look him up on Instagram. It's pretty cool. <laughs> thank you. Appreciate you. Because you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long. It hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray as you fade away.